Hey folks, howdy. Sean Brock here with you once again. And uh, this would be the second D18, uh, well, the second 2006 D18 Authentic, 37 Authentic that we had on the channel. I remember we had a sunburst. I like that guitar a bunch. And I like this one equally as well. Uh, if you are interested in this instrument, please see the description box. You can contact Dale Owen right up there on the reverb. You get yourself that affirm financing. Then you don't have to go to the pawn shop, see? Uh, you can do that. Or, you know, if you kind of want to avoid that sales tax, then uh, see that description box. Contact him directly. You can call, text, email, or catch him over on the Mandolin Cafe. And he'll put this thing in your home. He's, he's had a lot of these. He's had a lot of these early authentics. And uh, I'm just being straight up with you. This one here is one of the best ones that, that I've played. I mean, I've enjoyed, I think, the authentic line is uh, by far the best thing that Martin's made this uh, century. And this one right here is, to me, it's, it's way up on the heap. And we'll check her out and see what you think. 2006, 1937 Authentic Martin D18. I'll get a train whistle. <laughs> Check out the the just the balance with the bass here. the capo and I did cheat on you I, I capoed this up earlier um, had to restring it and uh, I figured since I had to work I might as well enjoy myself try out over here key of A It's Friday. 
Key of B flat. flat on this I have begun judging the overall quality I got a buddy <clears throat> he'll go to a steakhouse and half of his judgment on the whole joint is on its bread I think I'm getting that way on a B flat chord Key of B. think of that huh what do you think of that I'm not talking as much because um, I'm enjoying myself I, I, I just got to tell you let's try her up over here to fifth fret in the key of C Okay, well, so I want to say one thing before we, because there's not a lot of spec talking. If you want to capo this at the 7th, 
with an Elliot. It will fit. I've moved this on up there. Uh, eighth, it will fit at the eighth, okay? Because uh, I know people always have questions about how thick, and mine's just a standard uh, one three quarters Elliot. Um, you know, because the authentic necks did change a little bit, and I'm not an expert on this, so don't go by my word. Check UMGF or something like that where, where they know a bunch about it. Uh, I want to say sometime around 08 or 07, they, they slightly changed the neck profile, and then they've been boogering with it ever since. And on the channel the other day, we had a new custom shop 37 authentic aged VTS D18 and so it's interesting to hear this 2006 uh, before VTS came along and and to hear that brand new one that has the VTS and aged uh, finish on it and as far as the next go because somebody might be curious if you played like the 0506 and you play one of the new ones uh, that Martin is, is doing now, uh, and new, I mean the custom shop D18s, I'm not talking anything about 28s here. Um, the neck on the new one is actually thicker at the 7th fret and 8th fret than it is on this old one. And basically what, what you could think of is if you took, if you chopped the whole first fret off, if you, if you felt these and you just took the first fret off of the 06 neck uh, and you took the residual and, and scooted it down. That's what the new ones are like. The, the, the neck does get a little thicker, uh, a, a little bit quicker, but it's, it's nice and full in the first position too. However, that's not even what we're here to talk about. But what we have here this thing is in really, really good condition. Very, very nice looking Adirondack top on this, I think. Uh, kind of your standard uh, D18 appointments. This is a very clean instrument. Very clean. Uh, good looking uh, mahogany on here. You know, and I mean, she's 2006, so she's got a little bit of age on her now. 2006 was a good year for me. And uh, it was a good year for Martin when they got these things going. Nice looking set of back and sides. Of course, you're full. Um, C to V shaped mahogany neck. Dovetail, obviously, since we're talking about Martin. Um, Waverly uh, with the butter bean. The nickels with the butter bean knobs. Standard, standard stuff. Nickel frets. Long saddle, ebony bridge, uh, ebony pins, ebony fingerboard. Uh, this thing is as original as original gets. I don't think the action has ever been lowered on it at all. There's a ton of saddle in it, a ton, absolute ton. Uh, it's set up really well. <laughs> string up it is you know it's a B string
Good and dynamics on this. enjoy this guitar. I, it, it plays good up and down the neck. You don't have to hammer it to get a uh, sound out of it. It's nice. do just one more anyway if you're interested in this please see the description box uh, i'm sure dale will probably put this right in your home if you desire it and you can call him text him email him and uh, when it becomes applicable we'll have the link for reverb on this or you can check it on the mandolin cafe once again i hope uh, if you haven't subscribed i hope you'll do so and this is an yet another 2006 martin d18 1937 authentic Thank you all. Take care.